In this video, I'm going to show you how you can merge two or more subtitles of different languages into one subtitle file. Hi, my name is David from FreelancerInsights.com where we believe you should never stop learning. This video is inspired by the movie Ip Man 4 uh, where they utilized this, where they had Chinese subtitles on top of English subtitles. Now this is an easy process to do and all you need, you need your subtitles and then you need the video for reference and an application like subtitle edit which is a free application so i'll just open up uh, subtitle edit and the purposes of this uh, doing something uh, like this is that so that people can understand what is going on in the particular movie or video which was in the case for this movie because it had scenes of english and chinese uh, so when ip man was in uh, america there was a lot of english um, there was a lot of some Chinese uh, when he was in Chinatown and all that. So basically, you can understand the movie better and you reach more audiences. And if somebody's learning a language, it's an easy way for them to actually learn the language if they can see uh, the different subtitles. Now, as I've mentioned, uh, there, are, there are a couple of caveats here is that uh, if you're working with two lined subtitles, is that you'll have two lines of English here and two lines of Chinese that actually makes it very hard for somebody to follow along so you need to work with one line subtitles for to achieve this properly number two if you're working with languages that uh, have something like right to left for example Arabic then it's going to be very difficult to create these type of subtitles because uh, most of the time you'll find that the English one will uh, just default because most of the because you'll find that the subtitles will default uh, from left to right uh, rather than having like the Arabic one going from uh, right to left it's going to be very difficult so those are just the two uh, downsides to this uh, but otherwise the process is, uh, is slick and the subtitle edit is open I'm using subtitle edit 3.5.11 and I have my subtitle files here uh, so basically uh, the video is here and then this is an Arabic subtitle Spanish English and this one is simplified Chinese so what is going to happen here is that I'm going to go to tools this is inside the subtitle edit click on tools and then go to join subtitles when I click on join you can either click on add or drag and drop so, and since I have my files here I'll just click on this click on this click on this click on this these are the four subtitles that I need uh, so I can just drag and drop them there and you'll see that uh, each subtitle has a line, 191 lines, the start time, the end time, and the file names. Uh, and since there are four, I just wanted to show you with four, I'll just click on join. Now, Once you click, hit on join, they're going to display in the order that they're in. So for example, the Arabic one is the first one, and uh, when you get to line 91, 91, we now go to this other one, uh, this uh, Spanish one. And then we go to 182 there. And then we start off uh, with uh, uh, the English at 183. And then at 200 and something. Then we go to the Chinese. So it's about 274. So since this is not your desired result, our desired result is that we have, uh, we sort this by start time. So I'll just come to tools and then click sort by and click on start time. Once I click on that, you'll see the Chinese Spanish, English, uh, this is the Arabic, uh, Arabic, Spanish, uh, English, and Chinese. And they'll follow that order uh, as you require. And once you're done and you're comfortable, just click on File, Save As, and then let's say Update, and then let's go to Merged, Save. Once you click on Save, uh, the, the new file will appear here. And you can just double click on this. That's the video file. And uh, it's going to play in VLC. And uh, the reason why we're doing this is just we, we want to see if we achieved what we wanted. I'll just uh, stop the video and right click. And then go to subtitle. Uh, disable these ones. And then come to right click. Uh, subtitle. Add subtitle. And now we get to the folder with the subtitles. And I want this one, the merged one. If I click on it and click on open, it's added. And if I play the video with the recent, we're going to have 
the Chinese, the English, the Spanish, and the Arabic uh, subtitle files. Update on the YouTube interface. It's now easier than before to download YouTube transcripts. Now, basically, you'll see that uh, happen. And if you wanted to achieve uh, the same, let's say, file new uh, with just two files, just come here, join, add, and just select maybe uh, the English one and the Chinese one. And just click on open, just click on join, and then go to tools, sort by, start time, and then file, save us, just click on this, and then we can say maybe Ian, Ian, and then Chinese, and then click on save. And when we play our video, uh, our two, uh, these uh, uh, two subtitles look better than uh, playing four. Subtitle, I'll just disable this and then come to subtitle, add subtitle, and just select this one, so the recent one. And once I play, with the recent, you'll see that it looks more cleaner than having four subtitles. Update so basically, on the YouTube interface. it's pretty, pretty easy to do that. And it's something that I'd encourage you to do if you uh, have subtitles of different languages. And then you can permanently embed uh, this subtitles to your videos using handbrake vlc uh, or any other application that you might have something like subtitle next uh, to your videos so basically uh, that's how you can easily merge two or more subtitles of different languages into one thank you so much for watching kindly subscribe like the video share it with your friends and until next time never stop learning